Hi, I'm Courtney, and this is Shonda and Andy. So if you've watched any of our other videos, you probably have already met Shonda and Andy. Uh, we met on Instagram, and we've been traveling around with them for a few months now. And this is their van, Rosa, and we're going to show you around today. And if you want to see more about their travels, they just started a YouTube channel, and I will link that below in the description. So Rosa, this beauty, is a 1984 Chevy G20. This is obviously the cab. It's got this cool old-timey old steering wheel that we love, and then like the dash is pretty old, cool-looking, kind of retro. Um, makes us always want to listen to like some CCR or something. And then Chandra's favorite part of the whole van is that this wooden <laughs> cup holder has a spot for a mug's handle to go. Um, we have this cassette thing that we use, so it's got a, a tape player in here, and so we have this cassette that goes in and that serves as kind of our auxiliary so that we can listen to some jams. Our AC does work, but the van gets so weak whenever <laughs> you have it on that we don't usually use AC. Uh, we do have heat that works pretty well. Yeah, I think that that's a pretty good rundown of the cab. So we bought this off Craigslist um, and it was totally uh, made to be a conversion van so it had checked carpet and it was everything was green and orange and we ripped it all out and so I'm going to give you a tour. So this actually used to be where the bed was supposed to be and it was very short so we ended up moving the the bed to the back and this is where we keep a lot of our storage um, so we just lift this up and this is where I keep like a lot of my underwear and socks um, coats and big sweaters go back here and then actually behind here we have shoes and boots and uh, a longboard and my winter clothes are actually behind this part over here. Um, so it actually holds quite a bit. It just doesn't look pretty. So we, <laughs> this is the best thing that I've come up with so far. It looks terrible, but <laughs> this is where we keep a lot of our pantry stuff. So our nuts and our sugar, like different teas and stuff like that. Um, we just kind of made it to be a pantry and it works pretty good. So over the door, we keep a lot of our grains. Um, some of them are missing right now, but this is usually kind of full of grains. I um, have black seeds, coffee, um, and then we have a surplus of books, and so we just put them in different places around the van. <laughs> um, this is where we keep extra produce that doesn't fit in our little basket. Um, and then plates are here. We keep silverware in here. And then our um, spatulas and things go here, and our sharp knives go here. So most of the time we cook outside, um, but we do have this that pops up, which is perfect for when it's raining or it's too cold. We actually use this quite a bit, um, but when we're not using it, it just folds down. Pretty easy, out of the way. Our sink is powered by a foot pump, so you just push here and it brings water up and out. Uh, we have a six gallon fresh water tank and a six gallon gray water tank under here. So this is our bed. Um, it's actually not a real size of a bed, so we made the mattress ourselves. It's a four inch memory foam and then a two inch on top. And that is only that way because it was given to us for free. So, and it works really well. And then above the bed, it was really important for us to have books, like a bookshelf on board. Um, and so that's like probably half of the books that we have on, on the van, in the van right now. 
So this is where we keep our blankets. This is actually like a little tablecloth that I got. It's just a scrap piece of fabric. Um, we have a rug that we got really excited about and never to pull out. Um, and this is just what goes over our bench when it's pulled out into like a couch. Here is where we keep our spices. So they just pull out and then you just grab what you need, um, which is great because it's really quite big. It just slides back in. Here's where we keep pots and pans. This is propane and water bottles and like reusable grocery bags and things like that, like coffee to go mugs. This is what we call our stuff bin, uh, partially because it says stuff on it, which I really hate that it does. Um, but it's like cleaner, our uh, speaker, just random things that we pull from and don't have a spot for. Um, usually when we camp, we'll put out this rug just to not get so much dirt in the van. And then here is where we keep bowls and cups since we don't really have space up top. And this is uh, like oils and makeup and things that like I very rarely use. This is where we keep all of our clothes. This is my side and then this is Andy's side. So they have child locks on them so they kind of don't open when we're driving. So this is my side. Um, I keep my jeans and my shorts here. Behind that are sweaters. And then these are kind of a combination between like rompers and t-shirts and dresses. Then up here are workout shorts and kind of like leisure shorts or whatever. And then in here, I keep tank tops, um, like lounge pants, or these are kind of like workout pants, and then workout tops. This is Andy's side, and his is a little bit, uh, this works for him. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> this is our seating area. Andy and I both work remote jobs, so it's really nice that we have this here to work from. And also when our friends come over, they have somewhere to sit. <laughs> um, up here is just, uh, we have like incense. I have my oil diffuser. Um, and then like a French press, we don't make a lot of margaritas or cocktails, but you could in that, um, salt. And then of course, random books, <laughs> the theme of our van. <laughs> so under this seat is our refrigerator. It's a 64 quart refrigerator. It's really nice because it allows us to buy food that needs refrigeration, which is great. Um, and also to have a cold LaCroix not sponsored <laughs> so under this seat is where our battery lives and our battery is actually powered by the solar on top our solar also powers our refrigerator and our fan um, this is where our USB outlets are for our chargers and then our inverter is back there so one of the best parts about this whole area is that it can it can be a seating area, but it also can go down and be one long couch. Ta-da! So this uh, back here is what we call our garage or the basement. Um, and we built our bed up high enough so that we could have all this storage for all sorts of junk that we wanted to bring along. So for example, we've got extra water back here that we'll switch out whenever the one in the cab runs out. We've got our shower. Um, we've got a tent back here. I've got my skis, climbing equipment. Chandra's art stuff, we've got our tools, um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching this tour. It was really, really fun. Um, I'm excited to see it. <laughs> uh, we have been living in our 1984 Chevy van, which we've named Rosa, um, for about five months. And we've been traveling around the country, around the US. Uh, we work, um, we've got both have a couple of remote jobs and we work 
you know, anywhere from like 24 to 30 hours a week uh, on our computers. And <laughs> then the rest of the time, <laughs> we're just exploring or Chandra's cooking good meals and all that good stuff. Um, so I started a YouTube channel not too long ago, probably about a month ago, after um, hanging out with Courtney and Bryce. I just loved that they were able to look back on their adventures when a year from now or two years from now and be able to kind of remember those like little moments that you can kind of forget. And also we started it to try to be helpful if anybody wants to like be a part of this community, living in a van or however, like living a remote and mobile lifestyle. Um, like how to eat well and you know just how to find camping and how to shower and all that kind of stuff so we're just trying to kind of put ourselves out there as well just to be a resource so oh and my YouTube channel is YouTube slash Chandra Ray youtube.com slash Chandra Ray or YouTube YouTube dot youtube.com slash <laughs> Can you do the slash with me? <laughs> slash Shonda Ray. So thanks for uh, watching. Thanks Courtney and Bryce for giving a tour of our van. And uh, maybe we'll see you on our channel.